Hey guys, Micah from Black Bear Custom Kydex. I have a video for you today on a little sheath I just made for tops, a little bugger. And uh, I am actually wearing this one, so I'm just going to use this one to show you real quick. But uh, I'm shamelessly going to plug this sheath as well. I just finished this chest sheath for Sebastian out in California, and I am highly recommending you guys check out chest sheaths in general. Uh, because I've been extremely impressed with how comfortable this thing is and I would highly recommend it to uh, anybody who's considering getting sort of a bigger heavier sheath system with a lot of accessories on it um, this beats out dangler in my book by a wide margin so if you guys are thinking about that definitely consider it and uh, contact me for custom pricing as always sorry just trying to adjust this um, all right, so that's all I'll say about this. You can check out the full video I just did on it um, for a comprehensive look at it, but I think this thing is sweet. So anyway, I'll just use this little bugger since we have one on us. But um, All right, so this one is going to Jason, and Jason is... Uh, sorry, Jason, I forgot where you're at. I want to say, say New Hampshire, actually. So Jason asked for... Um, just a simple EDC sheath with a leather scout strap. So this is actually ambidextrous. You can wear it front side, back side, left or right hand positions on the side. Obviously it is limited to horizontal carry and it can go up to like a one and a half inch belt pretty comfortably. Um, beyond that you might want to reconsider. Um, so the little bugger goes in. Got a good click going in. No rattle, no play. Smooth ballistic one handed draw. And how this thing actually functions is you've got on one side pull the dot snaps. Ironically, there's no dot because uh, when you're putting it into thicker leather, you just can't quite compress it far enough so that the um, how it functions is when you actually when you press the uh, the dot and connect. Not the dot. Man, what am I trying to say? So for those of you who know anything about setting snaps, when you set the snaps this outer button looking thing has a stem that goes up through a hole in the receiver of the snap and so with pull it out snaps you set it in there you have to orient it a specific way and then when you press it to um, to set the snap to roll that edge out so that these two pieces stay together part of this piece is supposed to poke this piece and leave a dot on it so that you end up with um, the dot to pull. So what pull the dot snaps are, are one-way fasteners. And how they work is you can only snap them down and unsnap them in one direction. Um, this prevents it from accidentally coming undone, so it makes it a stronger snap. So when your belt is, you know, in here, putting pressure and bowing this out, it's going to try to unsnap uh, this way, but it can't. The snap cannot be undone that way with any reasonable amount of force anyway. It has to it has to be undone by pulling up from the bottom. So unsnaps this way, snaps down this way. So that is one thing that you should know about these. They're pretty rugged. Um, I'm still not a huge fan of them, but I think if you're going to go with snaps, these are definitely the way to go. Uh, another thing I've heard uh, some objections a couple people have, you know talking about projects and whatnot I've said no I don't want the snaps because if you know for whatever reason if I snag on something like that it could undo my thing and my knife could fall off I mean the amount of force it would take these are hard to pull off in the correct direction all right so the amount of force it would take would be probably unrealistic I don't, I don't think it's going to actually happen but the other thing you can do is one side is snaps the other side is Chicago screw so this cannot be uh, you know you can't snag on that and have it come undone so what I would do if you're really worried about that is orient it so that the buttons are on the inside and you know against your body that way it's not gonna happen there you know the belt will be through this side or sorry it'll be through this side uh, but yeah you won't have to worry about it like that so um, and if you fine for whatever reason that you have to wear it like that but the buttons are on the wrong side for the orientation you carry it in these are actually really easy to switch all you have to do open it up 
take those screws out and then just flip to the opposite side and screw it back down. So super easy. But anyway, Jason, I hope you like your sheath, brother. I think this thing came out really nice and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So hopefully you are too and you get a lot of good usage out of it. So, all right guys, it is real quick, sorry, before I forget, the sheath is in whip texture kydex. So it's like a faux leather black. There's like whisk, uh, whisk. <sighs> whip texture, whiskey, tequila, and London tan. They all come in this same kind of texture, but different colors, kind of like the Raptor on the other side of things. So anyway, all right guys, if you like the sheath, if you like this video, like, hit that like button. If you like the channel, subscribe, uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this style sheath. I think this is pretty cool and uh, share it with all your buddies. So thanks for tuning in guys and stick around for the next one. God bless.